and, and untrue also news seriously right off the top. I mean, 16 counts, is, grand jury just returned 16 count indictment, felony charges for Jesse Smollett. Um, uh, what can you tell us about this recent development in the story? Well, the, until we see it, we won't know. So, yeah. I mean, I, I, obviously, the, they have their ability to do whatever they're going to do, and we will we'll push back against them. Yeah, I mean, it's, it, it includes disorderly conduct charges, false police report. How is this different from what we've already heard and already experienced with Jesse and the, and the indictment? I, just, the I think that it's the, the, the way the process operates is they have to do a probable cause proceeding. So uh -huh. this is what's called a probable cause proceeding. So it's, the, it's not a news flash. I expected it. Um, I never thought they were going to do a preliminary hearing because a preliminary hearing, in a preliminary hearing, they can either have a cop get up there and testify or they can have a uh, the witnesses get up. They're not going to put the witnesses up. Because they want to save that. Well, I that. suppose that's one way to look at it. Yeah. Uh, I mean, how is he? How is Jesse doing? It's been a while since we've heard I've from seen him. him, and I think he's strong and um, resilient, and I, I'm supportive of him. Yeah. What, how is he dealing with the ongoing... Uh, Look, uh, I will tell you, anytime somebody is in the public eye and there's this kind of attention on it and um, there's negative attention, it's a trying experience. Yeah. But he's got a wonderful support group around him. His friends are standing by him, and he's... He's uh, as good as anybody could be expected in this. I've been down this path a couple of times with other people. Yeah. I've watched them when they when they go through this, and I uh, will give him all the support I can as well. There's been so much said, uh, what seems like true and, and untrue also, about his relationship with the brothers. How would you describe Jesse's relationship? I'm not going to get into any of that yet. We'll wait. I will tell you, though, that there's been a lot said and there were stories out yesterday, and I believe that have been confirmed by the Chicago PD, that they're conducting an investigation, an internal affairs investigation, because there's been a lot of stories that have been demonstrably false. So let's let that take its course, although, you know, there, I, I always have my suspicions about uh, internal investigations, but I'll wait and see what they say. But they have already confirmed, was it? Didn't come from me. Um, you know, he's been... He's been uh, violated uh, um, in a number of ways, and clearly a lot of the information that's been put out there is untrue. Do you think any of that is intentional? Any of that, though, that activity? I don't ascribe um, uh, motives to people. I will tell you that I think it was the, the way that this has played out. There, there is a motivation to do damage to him, mm -hmm. and uh, we'll prove that. What about the motivation... Uh, uh, for the brothers, you know, that I feel like they, it went from, you know, we heard initially that this was a, a, a racially targeted attack, potentially even a hate crime, uh, and the brothers have said... Like I said, I'll get, I'll drill down into the facts at the appropriate time, Yeah. because I think there's a lot that people don't know, Yeah. and uh, at the appropriate time, we'll do it. What would you say, and the reason I ask you this is because there has been so much uh, yeah, but said... Uh, so much of what has been said has been demonstrably false yeah so and everything so, what, so go so back and you, tick off tick off when they said he did it because he wanted a raise that right. was that's demonstrably false i mean they, they, there's nobody who's ever said that there's been people who said he did it because of something else every single thing reason they put out there has been demonstrably false and then guess what happens they walk it back so take a look at what the reporting was i understand it makes a good lurid story mm -hmm. but i would just counsel you to wait and so what what has been the the truth that you have found that's been most surprising to you with all that has been out there? That, the, that finally, uh, it's, uh, the information is getting walked back. Yeah. Everything that was said, all of the ideas that were put out there, uh, there was a check, he paid by check. No, there's texts that show what the check was for, the, that the check was for training. There, yeah. There's other things that have been said that, uh, that were just not true. And Chicago PD, not me, is the one who came out yesterday and said the, they're going to get to the bottom of the leaks and that the leaks aren't true. What do you what do you hope is a result of their investigation of the leaks? You know, is I, there, is I don't there hope a... for anything. I hope the truth. I hope the truth comes out. Because if the truth comes out, you'll see what you saw at Northwestern Hospital yesterday. Northwestern Hospital yesterday, uh, a number of employees were let go because they were illegally accessing uh, files, apparently. I don't know. Yeah. I'm not there. I'm not uh, on their advisory committee. But I will tell you, before people go straight to sentencing, they ought to wait and hold, hold their fire.